Power Book 2, Season 2, Episode 3, The Greater Good. Bro, I, I, I don't know what it is about this episode that just turned me off. Actually, I do. There were a lot of bullshit things that happened in this episode that just took me right out of the whole, the whole thing. Call them out. Go. Tariq, as a college kid, being involved in influencing a congressional seat, like directly. Uh, I'm, I'm suspending a little bit of my disbelief on that just because we've seen what Tariq can do in this show. Right. And so has Tate. So he knows he's capable of of Taking doing some things that are very unlikely. Right. I mean, That's yeah. number one. Number two, Braden is really the most important thing with that because there's a direct connection that Tariq has to the person he's trying to get after. So that's the only reason why I gave him a little bit of bail on that, that, you know, Tariq Mancharian candidate. But, um, yeah, I mean, what's your next one? Maybe I'll feel better about the next one. What's the next one? The Brick Safe was not brick safe realistic I fuck with whatsoever. Brick safe. <laughs> this is hard. Like, you mean to tell me a kid made a brick safe using a 3D printer? No. Mm -mm. Okay. That uses QR codes to open it. It's what are they in the metaverse? It is possible. Here's my hang up with the with the with the brick lockers, right? Is it no cameras in that building that they walk in twelve flights of stairs up to to go get to it, or you know nobody's noticing this revolving door of teenage adolescents coming in and out, going to the top floor, coming back down? Not suspicious at all, huh? Not to mention that my man's just totally blew up Lauren's safe spot, like just just it's, <laughs> screw your safe place. <laughs> Stash house, you know, slash it, distribution center. Yeah, yeah, man. This thing got he got a whole got a whole Amazon production belt going. More bullshit. It's efficient. Is it realistic? Ah. Mm. But it's, already it, it's a struggle. very efficient. It's already a struggle to see the the realism in power. It's obviously clearly all a fantasy. But when they throw it in your face like that, <laughs> it's kind of nuts. All right, so it's getting worse. Give me, get, is there any more? No, nah, that's it. No, those two. Okay. There were some other things that pissed me off, but not that were unbelievable. Brick Locker is is definitely worse than than Tate and, and Tariq working together. I, I feel like Tate and, and Tariq working together has some presence, but the 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 <laughs> the QR code Brick Locker is a little it's it's a little extravagant. I think it's efficient. Them I think are in it the works. metaverse right now. <laughs> That's that's the only way you can explain that. By the way, they're showing Mecca's chef way too much for him to not be a major player at some point. How you know Mech? Met him through my boy Gua. Mech used to run the hood the same time as his dad. So he knew him before he went to Kuwait. Hey, girls, come over here. It's the birthday boy. Yeah, no, he knows some stuff. You see, when uh, when Kane got to got to talking to his brother or whoever that boy was that he choked out. Um, <laughs> which was also nuts. First of all, yeah. How are you just going to put somebody to sleep at your party and then tell everybody to start kicking it? Like, no, all of y'all are insane. Everybody in this party is crazy because he just put that man to sleep and said, keep going. Why is this normal in this house? Nobody stopped. Mm -mm. Nope, we got to go. We got to go right now. This party is definitely getting weirder. If that was okay and that was just part of the night, this party is getting weirder. We need to go. Thank you. We need to go. But no, the chef he just slept him like, don't you know? But my family's busy. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be all right. Just uh, twerk on my other nigga. <laughs> my nigga came. <laughs> nigga came like, oh man, breathing. right? He's like, <laughs> like I'm supposed to enjoy this, but <laughs> homeboy might be dead. Dead. Like, Detective Rage found the weakest link in the world. Yo, with Zeke. Rage cop and and Zeke. It was going well for a minute, right? He was holding strong. He was like, I don't know shit. I'm not saying shit. Let me go. Let me go. The only place he fucked up is when he gave him those opportunities and said that you can go whenever you want to. Stop talking. Get the fuck up and leave. As soon as he said that to you, only thing you had to do was stop talking, get up, say, give me my phone and my wallet and leave. That's it. So here, I think I seen the wheels churning. I think I'm, I'm going to take us into the world of Zeke for a second. So here's what happened, right? So he get him in there. He's solid. We don't talk to police. We good. I'm good. We about to get up out of here. Hey, look, I got practice. So let's speed this up. Right. He's confident. So he starts in. He's digging. He's digging. He's digging. 
he tries to he tries to put himself at an equal stature. I don't know if you caught it, but when he was telling them like I'm I'm Zeke, I I I just declare for the draft. He's like, oh, I don't follow basketball. So right now he's trying to establish to you like I don't whatever gravitas you're trying to put off to me, it doesn't affect me because I don't know who you are. Yeah, right. Yeah. We're on an even playing field, mm-hmm. and then he starts pressing on that button that you know is gonna get to him. Carry, 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 carry. Also calls carry, him. Carry, carry, carry. Boy, oh my god. Um. Yeah, that was that was terrible timing, <laughs> awful timing. But that is the button he kept pressing every time he needed Zeke to sit back down or pull him back in. Me, I, 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 I'm not gonna lie. Like when he, when he told him, look, I understand what you're trying to do. If the school probably find out, she's gonna lose her job. But in the eyes of the law, y'all good because y'all adults. We really don't give a fuck. That 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 moment, he was like. Well, damn, if I don't say nothing, I can protect her and we can still get off. Because I know I didn't kill Jabari. I know I didn't kill her. And I know Carrie would never. Not my Care Bear. (laughs) She would never. So as long as I don't tell him anything, I can save us both. Yeah. Right? And so not realizing that him not corroborating her alibi fucks her even more. Mm -hmm. Right? So now... Now that Rage Cop is not getting the angle that was given to him by Carrie, he gonna make his own shit up. He, he just gonna make his own shit up. Oh yeah, she sent you to go kill Jabari, didn't you? Yeah, he was mad. He was mad like I'm mad because because you fucked Carrie <laughs> and she didn't let me in. <laughs> right? Like, oh man, she, yeah, that's what it was. You were fucking pissed. Or no, Jabari was fucking pissed. I know what she can do to a man. I know. I know. See? <laughs> Hey, black women, don't give these white boys no, no, don't give them none. You see how they act? More of the story. No, see how they act. I'm just telling you, they're going to rage out on you. But his story was given legitimacy once homeboy decided to throw Ramirez's card out. Dummy. Fucking idiot. Stupid. But it's not his fault. He didn't know. No. Look, he spazzed out. He spazzed out, right? So he realized now that I can't just, when Carrie called him, he realized I can't just deny it anymore. Now I'm fucked. I tried to call Monet, my only out, and she didn't pick up the phone because she out here gallivanting in, in helicopters. Tell me, I ain't never did know she like We'll talk before. about that in a second. <laughs> we had to talk about something with that. Well, we'll talk about it in a second. You pushing ranges. You Da Vinci head to toe. <laughs> You've never been in a helicopter? Nope. You never rolled over the, the, the nasty ass Hudson? <laughs> like No, Lorenzo don't believe in any of that shit. All right. Cool. <laughs> Bet. So he called called Monet. She didn't pick up. Now I'm in the shits. Now I don't know what the hell going on. I'm confused. I'm stressed out. Oh, I know. It's somebody else that can help me. Here, call Ramirez. Why the fuck did he get this to you? Just call him. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God. God, why would y'all get that man that card? Not well, I keep th- him in the loop about what's going on. Now, yeah, no, that was that was Monet's fuck up. I think everybody has to wear a little bit of that because oh, y'all sure. are talking to each other. Why wouldn't y'all be talking to Zeke? Yeah, I agree. Especially since he's y'all's parachute, apparently. You know, speaking of the whole Monet and uh, Mecca situation, bro, Mecca's character or Mecca's the actor playing Mecca, is Danny from Manifest. Circles around Mary J. Blige. Danny from Manifest is fucking it up. He is acting circles is. around her in those scenes they have together. Yeah, I think we just gonna have to accept Mary J.'s permanent mad face. It's just it's gonna be there. <laughs> I don't think she's graduated as an actor to the next level of facial expression. So we just gonna give her some time. She literally reacts to everything as angry. It's just it's everything is angry. Everything, everything. It's nuts. It's crazy. Um, yeah, man, he's uh he's playing two different roles right now. He whining and dining and, and being Mr. Suave, and then he's a stone-cold abuser and killer. And manipulator in, in Kane's ear. Got Kane to tell pretty much everything when he was lifting weights. Well, he's also telling Kane pretty much what's happening to him. Yeah. Oh, you want to control Tariq? You need to hit him. You need to cut him in his soft spot. You need to bring him in, and that'll be how you control Tariq. Hmm. Monet, soft spot. Kane, cut her where it hurts. Bring Kane in to get to Monet. Yeah. But you no, know, Mech is going to play chess. So, Mech you know, they don't understand. Run this entire organization. He, he, he's literally, Kane. he's fucking you. 
while showing you how he's fucking you so you can do it to someone else. Yeah. Let's talk about this whole, well, let's start with Lauren talking with Zeke's little fuck buddy and Bruchandria in the dorm room where Lauren goes, is that weed? Yo, her name is that it is her name now is 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 that weed Lauren? I is was that like, weed? I was like, are y'all serious? Yeah. That was another another unbelievable thing. A college kid not is that know, weed Lauren? Get the fuck is out of here. Is that weed? The one person that the Dare program worked on. Well, I think they were showing that to us for a reason though, because ultimately when Lauren finds out. While 30 motherfuckers is coming in and out of her safe spot, that's obviously going to be a crossroads with her and Tariq. Yeah. So I think they're setting the groundworks right now to show us why that may not be something that could be sustained because she obviously has a certain attitude towards narcotics. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. That led into Tariq pulling the most toxic, manipulative bullshit I think I've ever seen ever on power. Oh, when he took it, took it using to yes system. to get to get buns. Hey man, he had he had to get these rocks off at some point. My man has been getting perpetually blue ball for you one and a half seasons. <laughs> your <laughs> situation with your little sister being in a foster <laughs> home to get buns. What was he gonna do? Tell her the truth, bro. What, what, what was Tariq gonna do? Tell the truth. You could have just told her, "Hey, my sister is in foster care right now." There's a whole bunch of fucked up shit going on with yeah, that. Yeah, but you got to take her to go see it so that she know it's real to get the booty draws. And then involve her in some manipulative bullshit so that he can get the cell phone to her. All to get buns. That's nuts. Bro. That, hey, that was the most toxic. It wasn't all to get buns because he did need Lauren so he could get Yaz that phone so he could talk to his sister. That's, you know. That's he could, real. He, could, he couldn't have found no other way. I mean, we are How? talking about Tariq. Oh, he needed the social worker to the be man, out of the way so she could. The man has a brick safe. I think he could figure out a way to get yeah, as a cell phone. I think he did. And that's how he got it in there. He also got a cell phone to Tasha in jail. I think he can get a, a cell phone to, to Yaz. Hey, man. <laughs> what you want him to do? That, that, that's the way he found out how to get it to That him. shit was toxic, bro. It was toxic by the fact that, that he got her off of his ass about other people being there <laughs> because of that. Cause that's not the reason why people was there. She it's actually like she, she's choosing to believe the bullshit also yeah. because what the fuck does your sister being in social work being, being in social services have to do with, with Diana being, Diana being here where I took you, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? What does that have to do with anything? Yeah, no, that's true. So she's allowing for the bullshit to happen. Right. And then the nigga, Got the skins and got up out of there right after. <laughs> so, like, you know, it, it, you, personal responsibility here. We preach it. You know, you know, it ain't all on Tariq. But, yeah, the, the fact that he did deceive her, it just to throw her off of the trail was was toxic for sure. Very much so. Kane pulling up with the money towards the end of the episode and then making fun of Braden by saying, Hi, my name's Braden. I'm in love. Was hilarious. <laughs> Made me cry laughing, bro. That was the funniest shit ever. Because he thought he was slick with that line he pulled he did. On, But he wasn't. Like, it fam, wasn't that slick. Little do you know, she already got that payment for you. <laughs> before you ever showed up. Payment was already made. You just didn't go get your, you didn't get your money's worth. She's not impressed, bro. Probably not. Bit. Probably not, but but it does appear that Braden's going to be easily ma- manipulated. It seems like he's going to be very pliable. I don't know if Kane's going to be able to be super loose about it or talk about it as much as he did coming on that strong. Like, yeah, you know, Tariq, your boss, he did this, that, and the third. Um, because Braden has a certain loyalty to Tariq. Mm-hmm. One that I do not think is reciprocated. True. And um, that can lead itself to the fact that Braden has control over Tariq in this whole LLC situation. Yeah, it's kind of mutually assured destruction, right? Because if Brayden, well, no, because Brayden's got control of the money now. If that's where he's going to be cleaning his money through, Brayden got control of it. But then also Brayden is the one who goes down if anything happens. True. So He has his own connect. He controls the money. And he controls Tariq in in some form. So if he chooses to manipulate it that way, he might have to, if he really wants to run the streets. 
Okay. He might have to strong I arm Tariq into the streets. I don't, I don't think that's Braden's path, though. I don't think – he's not Tommy. Tommy was born into this shit. He's Facts. not Tommy. If they make Brayton into Tommy, I'm going to stop watching. I'm going to tell you all right now, we done with power. Well, he, if Brayton's story ends up mirroring anything like Tommy's, we can we can we can stop this. We can stop this. We're gonna find another show. Because I'm not Braden doing that. Braden probably wants to be Tommy. He no, obviously that's fine. he obviously won't be though. Even if he ends up being one of the biggest distros in New York, just like Tommy, their paths should not mirror each other. Brayton is was born into one of the oldest, richest families in New York. Yeah. Tommy was born to some redhead stripper. Kate. Or whatever her name was. You know what I mean? Like not the same paths whatsoever. Now, it's funny that we're saying that because Ghost and Tariq did not have similar paths whatsoever, and still they sit, they ended up where they ended up. My problem with that is that that's fucking bullshit. <laughs> that's bullshit. Yeah, that is bullshit. It's bullshit. It's definitely bullshit. Right? Like, you, I've already taken it. I've taken it once for Tariq. We've moved past it. I'm good. we talking about Ghost, right? But the fact that this man was a trust fund baby, and lived that way well into on on his way into adulthood, and then threw a temper tantrum, and that somehow led him to being one of the biggest drug dealers in New York. I so don't a, duplicate that with Braden. <laughs> like I can see him having a legitimate climb. It just it's going to be different yeah. from from Tommy's experience. Braden is not about to be out here bodying people, unless he does. Just show me, just show me. But if it start looking very Tommy esque. Oh, 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 so the video leaked. The video did leak of uh, a, a Zeke getting arrested. I think that's going to end up helping him because bro didn't read him no rights or nothing. He just bust up in the room, told the girl mm. to shut the fuck up, and dragged him out of there. I think that's going to help him. I don't know if you've seen the previews for next week, but one of the things we brought up last week was Simon's involvement, and it. I don't know how they get there. It, they must be desperate. Because somehow Rage Cop and Simon get in the same room, mm -hmm. and they about to find out whose white privilege is stronger. Mm. Because Simon said, hey, look, man, I'm king white boy, okay? <laughs> this, this whole white rage thing you've got, I invented it. <laughs> you oh, can't, you no. can't beat your OG, baby. <laughs> Plus, Davis McClain seems like he's going to bat for them already in this episode. So Yeah, man, yeah, man. Davis McLean out here picking up clients like a month. Man, what? <laughs> yeah, what? Retainers like, on Like deck. dirty draws. Retainers he on He straight deck. up told uh, Sachs, like, uh, player, if he could have paid and we could have got him out, we were representing him. <laughs> so fix your face. Tell us what your thoughts are on this week's episode of Power. It was episode three. three. The greater good. Give us your comments below. And down below, there's also a power playlist below. So check that out to see more power reviews and make sure you subscribe.